How are we doing, guys? Welcome to www.twitch.tv slash John Sims. We are going live right now. However, uh, we just finished Elite last night, and I wanted to do a little video on my custom tactics and to show what my squad is right now. Uh, it's uh, the second week of uh, December, I believe, and uh, we just finished December 9th. Um, so it was on December 8th. Uh, guys, let me tell you, it was tight at the end. I do have a red card on my Ronaldo. Uh, that's because he got a red card right at the end of the match. But this is the squad, guys. This is the squad. Um, and let me let me show you this. Let me show you this. Uh, this squad is absolutely stellar. Um, Militeo plays so much better than 81. Um, I've been in between Modric and Alan. I played Modric because I got him untradeable. Just see how he did. And the last time we went elite, we had Modric in the club as our CDM as well. But this is the squad, guys. We, uh, you need finishers. So I have three really solid finishers. Um, Dembele's not as, as clinical. Um, but he gets, he get, got the job done. Rui Costa, that's the only thing I wish I could upgrade on Rui Costa. Well, let's get into these custom tactics after, actually, let me show you these. Let me show you the bench here. You always want a CDM, center mid CDM, uh, to be able to sub on as a defender. If your defenders get weak or anywhere, uh, they're very versatile. Uh, Alan can still even play as a cam if you really, really need it, but it's not a great cam, but it can get the job done as like a, as a facilitator. Actually, sometimes what I do is I'll actually swap. I'll pull out Rui Costa because he's, his work rates a little bit has been hit hard. And uh, I'll throw in Alon at Cam, and then I'll swap Modric, and we'll play Modric as Cam instead of Alon, and have Alon play sit back at CDM. But I have Rashford and Promus. Um, I play Promus more so than Rashford because Rashford's a little shaky in the ball. But the reason why I play him is because his stamina, and, uh, not his strength and agility, and his size and his speed, he can get around a lot of people. Um, I wish um, the. The striker, uh, the Spanish striker, that's huge. Anaki Williams. I wish Anaki Williams was a little bit better weak foot, or uh, I would play with him. Um, but anyways, let's get into these custom tactics, guys. So, um, I never play in my balance. That's just for chemistry, okay? We just do that for chemistry. But to get into this, this is the formation I use most of the time. It's a very balanced formation. Um, this is... I put it on defensive. It's it's, but I don't really maintain the mentalities. The mentalities just change for me. I I, I manipulate them all the time in game. Um, the first key to winning matches, guys, is being ahead of your opponent tactically. Uh, if you see them in a four four two, and they're playing really wide, guess what you do? You spread yourself out a little bit. You cover the wings, but you have your center mids cover the center, so there's no gaps. You know, there's so you're always trying to anticipate and analyze the opponent however this is this is the structure that i believe is the best balanced structure at least in my take for a player to never change it in game um if you never change it in game you can get gold two gold one but if, if you want to go to elite three elite two uh get elite one you'll have to manipulate the tactic a little bit during game but basically you throw both these on balance that's the main thing. Both of these on balance or mentalities are different. So, like, you don't want to put a pressure on heavy touch. You don't want to put a pressure on heavy loss. You don't want to put constant pressure and drop back. It messes with the players too much. They'll get them out of position. Um, you'll you'll notice you'll have less control of, of where these guys are. Instead, if you ever want to press in game, you'll hit up on the D-pad, hit team press. And I actually, I like press on heavy touch when it's late game if uh, just to make sure that it's always affected. But sometimes I will put a press on heavy touch uh, just to apply a little bit of pressure and get into some loose uh, loose ends and, uh, and get some interceptions. I cannot stress to you how many, how many goals and games I've won off of doing that. But basically, you want to put your depth a little bit up. Sometimes I play between uh, I play between four and six, but it's basically try to push up, uh, push up the players. And it's not a second defender. It's literally a press on them onto everybody it's a team press it's not the r1 it's not the r1 it's literally the team press on the d-pad i can show you that guys in game sometime if you want to come by the stream 
but offensive style you want balance you want balance just because their mentalities you can you can force them to make runs with that l1 you can force your players to make runs i do it all the time down the wings um onto uh i like to pull their defense out create space and put it, people into uh positions by by actually forcing them on runs so i keep on balance you don't you don't necessarily need anything else you want your width five four to six as well uh, it just depend. That's just person. That's just personal choice. This means you're a little bit more attacking. It's a little bit more defensive. That's that's all it is. It means your CDMs are not moving forward. I want my CDMs just to move a little bit forward so I can actually control the ball, play it back and forth, back and forth, pass it really close into uh, to my strikers and try to turn and shoot. That's kind of the idea of that. Um, our formation though, we play in a four-two-three-one, and so we play with, of course, our best striker up top. Uh, David Villa actually is a phenomenal left wing, guys. He is phenomenal. I can't tell you. He's the thing about it is he's a finisher. He's a finisher. He's got pace. He's got uh, his agility is a little bit weak, so we throw an engine on him, raise that agility. But that all that engine does is raise his dribbling control, so he can turn tight corners. His passing is 85, so a uh, short pass. So he's he's still very consistent as a passer. Rui Costa by far is a phenomenal cam. Um, all around stats. Uh, the only thing I wish he could do is have a little bit more shot power and finishing stats. Other than that, man, he is phenomenal. I throw an engine on him. He is He's like a 93 dribble, 94 dribble. He feels like Eden Hazard with the ball. He's strong. I mean, he's got everything. I don't understand why he's so freaking cheap. If you want to know somebody that I believe is the best deal in the market as an icon, it's the 186,000 coin Rui Costa that's on the city on the market right now. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. He's a four star, four star. It just blows my mind. It just blows my mind. I believe that he was very popular in FIFA 17, so people have just gotten off of him and just kind of looked over him because for some reason but Dembele you know five star five star of course Dembele um if we're gonna make an upgrade it's gonna be Dembele we'll get messy there but Keane and Modric are just solid defensively right there Alexandro Milteo you know uh but basically my instructions here your striker leave it alone leave it alone you want your striker doing different things variancing and uh variancing all the time what's up Merwood welcome into the stream man um you want your striker doing various different things, right? So you don't want to just set him on drift wide or set him on, say, central. Because that's what they'll do. They'll stay there. You don't want to put him get behind. You don't want to, Because they'll be... If he has proper positioning and proper mentality, especially if he's Ronaldo, he'll do the, he'll do somewhat, most likely, the right thing. And you can always, you can always send them on long runs. You can always send them to make those big runs. So I just say stick with the default. Um... Here, free roam. That's all you want. That's all you want. Just free roam. The only thing that you couldn't do that could make a difference is play him forward. Keep him forward. Keep that pressure on the defense. But he pretty much stays forward because he's a high-low rate. But basically, free roam with Rui Costa gets you into tight spaces to be able to get you through balls and passing that's not in position for other people that you would never actually normally see. Uh, David Villa and Dembele, same thing. Come back on defense and free run. There's a reason why I do come back on defense. It's not for a defensive tactic. It's so when they start breaking free on a counter, they're running at full pace instead of just hanging out in this middle third. They're running at full pace towards the uh, towards the other defensive line. It's putting a lot of pressure on. Even though it's a couple of seconds that it takes to break free, they're running faster, stronger, harder at that defensive line. I believe that it's a better tactic. Um, both of the times I have played with it off and I play, I always play better with that comeback on defense. I just feel like they get, they get so, they get so for much further ahead. Defensive behavior and, uh, the attack and support and defensive position for your CDMs. This is the, by far the most crucial point of this whole, uh, tactical formation guys. You want to cut the passing lanes. You want to stay back and you want to cover center. Uh, I don't like these guys pushing forward because the second I break down defensively, these guys are out of position. That's all it is. If I can keep these two right in position, I can pretty much manipulate uh, them. Um, sometimes King gets out of position a little bit more, so I'll try. I try to use Modric because he's a little bit more agile, a little bit faster, to be able to get into position. Just cut passing lanes. So I'll pull Modric out of position while keeping King in that right in that middle, and uh, I'll try to 
break them down. I do it all the time, guys. What I'll do is actually, if they come in and there's no relief, I'll actually run in behind them. I'll take a tackle from behind. I do it all the time. It's actually part of my tactics. Uh, stay back while I attack on all these guys. You just don't want to push these forward. You can always push them forward with that L1. Um, you, I just don't like getting countered. The one thing is, I will not risk getting countered. That is the main thing, guys. Just do not risk counters. Uh, that's the easiest way to get goals in this game. And so I don't risk counters at all. And that's why I actually put corners and free kicks on one. It's because I just make sure that nobody gets countered. I got countered once. I lost a game this weekend league. Um, let's switch to ultra defensive. I'll show you. I'll show you attacking here in a second. Um, I appreciate the congrats, brother. Um, let's see here. So you want to do long ball just because you want to put, pre uh, what happened is they'll have a lot of pressure. So you're going to be clearing the ball and you want your, you want some of your attacking players to be running onto those balls. Um, a, a low width, low depth, because what's going to be happening is you're going to be pulling all your players back. And so your wingers are going to be in those positions to, to close out that high long width. And you don't want your depth at one. You want it a little bit further forward because what happens is in the game, the mechanics, they go all the way back and you get so many, you get so many, you get so much space in between the box, man. So you want to push them a little bit forward uh, and utilize the offensive trap to get them into a better position. But on offense, you kind of want to spread them out because they will be attacking you. So... Uh, that's the only thing guys that's risky is you just want to keep that width low little bit wide You don't want to get too wide um, but uh, Just because you can get countered in the middle So that's why I keep it there, but players in the box uh, You know you want to just have a couple players pushing into the box. That's it. That is it These are elite. These are the elite uh, tactics pretty much for a defensive formation that what I took um, guys, the same thing. Four, two, three, one. I used. You don't want to play five back because what happens is you get so com you get so comfortable with playing in your formation, and it may be one, one, and then you get a goal two, one, and it's in the 75th minute. And a lot of people, what they do is they switch to a five back or a three back and pull everybody back, and it changes everything they've done. What it's been working. It's been working. Stick with it. Your defense has been working. They only got one goal on you. Guess what? Play with, just pull everybody back and keep your formation tight and some nothing should change for you. You should be able to pull it out. This is all I do, guys. Come back on defense, uh, Ronaldo. Come back on defense, Rathrui, David Costa. That's the big thing. Come back in defense. But this is also critical. Stay wide and stay forward with Dembele because in those crucial moments when they're pushing everything forward, and you play that long ball out, you want him running onto that wide. And that's when you can break down that time zone and, and waste some time at the end. But that's in critical moments, guys. That's in critical moments when you're playing a guy that's a pro or something. Man, I don't. And actually, I have these guys on balance because uh, I don't want them necessarily. Uh, actually, I do want this, though. Um, I don't necessarily want uh them to be cutting passing lanes and man marking i want them to be doing what is right in the opportunity uh because if you cut passing lanes it will leave space uh for them to receive receive a ball um from a separate pass or something like that so it's just you just have to know what you're doing um in those tight tight situations um that that is defensive then we move on to to uh a little bit more a pressure situation. You're down a goal in like the 50th, 60th minute. This is why I put on, guys. Pressure on heavy touch. It pretty much just pushes the pressure if the ball goes backwards. I use that all the time. I actually really like this one. I don't like pressure on the loss because it pulls players forward. And then it's easy long balls. There is easy. It's just stupid. Don't use pressure on it. Don't use pressure on loss. Constant pressure is like an all out. You, you're, you have two minutes to get a goal. That, you know, you, need, you just need a miracle. That's what constant pressure is for. But pressure on heavy touch is probably the most consistent, in, in my opinion. You want these width and depth pretty pretty basic. You can always push your depth a little bit forward. Um, push more people in. But fast buildup and putting these players in the box is actually a big deal. You can push both these in. And uh, it will put in a lot of attack. But this is the, this is the crucial part here, guys. Right here... We have these guys balanced. We have our wing backs balanced. 
okay what that does is that these guys are going to be pushing forward so all these guys are going to be pushing forward everything's on balance okay the thing idea is that is everybody's gonna be joining the attack essentially everybody will be joining the attack actually the only one i would probably put sam back is keen because he's not very effective he's not very effective and sometimes what i'll do is i'll just throw one back if it's like in the 30th minute and i want to put on a little bit of pressure I'll, I'll swap this put him on up because alexandra is not very good at, at attack but but zanetti's actually decent at getting into it He's got some stellar, stellar, stellar uh, position. But basically, this is an all-out attack. This is just an all-out attack. Um, honestly, I should... That's probably more. But basically, guys, you just want to have him stay back while cut and, and cover center and everybody else push forward. Everybody else push forward. That's that's pretty much what it is. You know, maybe have him on free roam. Um, stay forward, stay forward, stay forward. Put that pressure on the defense. But that's that's uh, that's why I suggest, guys. Those are my custom tactics. Um, they're simple yet, uh, you know, difficult, you know, challenging in some some ways. So, um, but yeah, that that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, I appreciate you guys popping in. Um, much love. Feel free to come by the stream. If you liked it, if you liked or comment, uh, if you liked it or you need uh, help later, comment on the on the description below, and we'll uh, I'll help you guys out. But remember, www.twitch.tv/slash/john_sims. I'm your host, John Sims. All right, guys, take it easy.